Welcome everyone! I'm Rei, and today we are going to take a look at the next two chapters. And boy am I excited! Like, what did we even witness last time? There was so much going on. We first found out what happened with the ancient civilization. I mean, if that is true. But, like I said, I'm not a researcher. I will believe them if it sounds plausible. <laughs> so for now, I do believe that that is the truth and that is what really happened. And after that, we found this divine key, which name I have already forgotten. Mm, it was something with Eden. That is what I remember. Key of Eden? Is that it? Could that be it? I think I think I'm I think I'm fairly close. <laughs> anyway, we found it. And right after that something happened. And then they saw himself in Berlin, or rather he remembered what happened. Kind of. Not really, but kind of. And then we find out that something big has happened. And it happened where Schrödinger and all the others did experiments. So I'm scared for them and I don't know what happens and I really want to find out. So guys, let's get comfy and let's enjoy this ride. Well, here we are and I already skipped something. So <laughs> let's start anew. The street in front of him was thoroughly waterlogged. Contrary to it being the mid-winter weather of November, the water was not cold at all. So much so that it even felt warm instead. Okay, so we are on our way, or we are already in New York, or somewhere. <laughs> I don't remember where exactly we were going, but I think we actually went for the center of the possible outbreak. I really don't hope. Oh my god, I... I mm, but... I don't remember there being an outbreak in that time, but I'm bad with numbers, so that doesn't say anything. <laughs> the wild ducks in the morning, even out of season, were swimming happily on the stagnant water. However, everything that really happens in the world cannot be as beautiful as the one-sided perception of a few senses. Just like the road under the water. The potholes are uneven, slippery, slimy, and mixed with sharp hard objects that made it simply impossible to walk. Found the culprit behind our punctured tires. The young man looked along where the girl was pointing and saw a few huge sharp shells pierced into the shriveled right rear wheel of the sports car. <laughs> oh god, okay, so we went somewhere, but we couldn't go far. The water, stirred by the wheels, gradually cleared up a bit, and Veld could see some of the strange, dense creatures growing there. The grey, white and purple shells, the same lime-sharp cones that are stuck to the tires, were huddled together irregularly. Can't say whether it was a mollusk or something else. In short, if you cut off all the devil's claws in hell and fold them together like sardines, this is probably what you would get. <laughs> In conclusion, this concrete road has barnacles several times larger than usual. The fashionable girl gritted her teeth and stated that she didn't want to deal with the dense crustacean, crustaceans, 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 whatever. Barnacles, aren't they sea creatures? It's close to the sea here, however. Of course, I know that. That's why it's more terrifying, isn't it? Those disgusting things that should have never appeared on inland just burst our tires? On February 22, 1861, countless marine fish shell fell from the sky in Singapore during a violent storm. But the barnacles stuck in these puddles could not have fallen from the skies. Where are we now? Portage Avenue, Hope Street. The fashionable girl looked at the map in her hand. Not far to the left is the Swan Point Cemetery. Beyond the cemetery lies the trumpet-shaped mouth of the Sea Seekong River. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing those things right. I've never heard of those names. I'm sorry. If we want to do field re reconnaissance, it's in a triangle like this, from Bensley Point to Libet Park and then to Blackstone Park. But the core is still the cemetery, right? 
Really? Why is it the fate for it to be always something related to a cemetery? Wait. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Is that Rianne? Who? <gasps> it is! <laughs> because of the cemetery. <clears throat> the uninvited guest, completely silent of footsteps, was dressed from head to toe in a special combat uniform. And she looks gorgeous. I totally love her. Oh my god, she's so cool. Ah. Uh. Miss Rihanna? <laughs> Isn't this dress up today a bit unrecognizable? Ah, uh, it turns out that the combat suit is neither glittering nor blue and white. Huh? <laughs> Ex excuse me? <laughs> well, it is okay. Though not to mention that, why is Miss Rihanna here? Aren't you the Valkyrie at headquarters? Uh, it's as you say. I guess I'm supposed to be on vacation just like you. Really? I had booked a ferry ticket to Nan Nantucket to visit the Whaling Museum. But as you can see, something unusual happened early in the morning yesterday. But what about you? What are you going to hunt with your bare hands? Barnacles are inexplicably growing out of the streets. When you get to the cemetery, once you encounter a Honkai beast, how will you deal with it? <sighs> That's a good point. Come with us! Please join us! Oh my god, I'm so in love with her. Her outfit and everything. She is gorgeous. It was a mistake, but there's no need to worry too much about it. Wait a bit longer and we'll be... And... Oh no, the gun has been changed. What? what? Yeah, what? <laughs> what? Uh, well, we managed to contact a local government bureau. The bureau was called... Uh, what was it called again? Emergency Response Administration Providence Special License Office. It is a de department jointly established by the SS North American branch and the US government. According to their rules and regulations, Tesla currently has the temporary command of the department. Ahem. Thank you very much for summarizing. In short, we agreed to meet on the central lawn of the nearby university. Would you like to join us? Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Are you the government dudes? <laughs> Gosh, the one in the middle looks tired. Three people, tall and thin, and two armored combat vehicles that didn't seem to solve the problem at all. Looking back at the Valkyrie Rihanna, and then looking at these civil servants in front of her, Tessa felt a sharp stomach ache. Ah, yeah, that's, that's suddenly a lot of responsibility, right? So, it's just you guys? These are the men? This is it, I'm sorry. Yuri, the shortest of the three, is their representative. I work on the night shift. Mbamba is still living in his office. Alex lives in a rented apartment nearby. Due to the case of communication blackout, only the three of us could gather in a short time. There was really no other way. He seems nice. He looks nice and tired. <laughs> Maybe I can sympathize with that. <laughs> a lot. So, what is happening now is a Honkai... Wait. Oh. <laughs> so, what is happening now is a Honkai event? What's the use of giving me a couple of men with weak natural Honkai resistance? Though, thankfully, from what you said, there's a way to solve the problem. Relying on this kind of tank that even the army thinks is old? What about the newly developed prototype mechas? Although they have not been mass-produced yet, hasn't a single one of them been equipped for you? The vehicle was indeed built from a Sherman II, but it was built with added tire alloy walls. It was also equipped with high-energy flame nozzles and chemical agent spray vents. According to Miss Edison's statement, the cost of tactical megas is too high. When dealing with general Honkai conflict, it is better to use this kind of equipment improvised from the ordinary army, more cost-effective. Just to add something, there's so-called tire alloys, the name given by Miss Edison. In fact, it is a carburized titanium uranium alloy. You don't need to teach me. I developed this alloy. <laughs> Do you guys know with whom you're talking? A mass-produced alloy capable of shielding Honkai energy, the next best substitute for solium steel. It was originally intended to be used to make the official version of the mechas, but the density is a bit too high and so the engine power couldn't keep up at all. Just a cheap patent worth $50,000 and nothing more. Um, <clears throat> so, 
In the end, it was used as the tank's protective layer. It's really the sort of bad idea that peace and people would come... <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's really the sort of bad idea that people would come up with. Do you know what that person makes me feel about this? Oh, that person! I just... Yeah, she's talking about Nancy. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know whether I'm facing a straggler or a maxim, but I feel that we are the Zulu fighters who have a way to win. What? Forget it if you don't understand. Alright, we'll do. <laughs> In short, as the saying goes, it's better than nothing. Under certain conditions I, conditions, I don't deny that you can help. Under specific conditions. Miss Rihanna? Do you need me to do something? Let me to... Let me to develop a unified reconnaissance and possibly a salt plan, okay? After all, I know better how far they can go with their equipment. Oh, we are, we are ready, oh my god. So there are Honkai beasts just roaming around, right? Oh, but it's not... I mean, it can't be an outbreak because the people are still living and... They are not running for their lives yet. <laughs> Alright guys, I have my tea. Now we are ready to, <laughs> to read more. November 24th, 1955. At 6.45 in the morning. The sky of Providence City just now started to show some rays of light. This is Nikola Tesla. Alex and I have reached our reserve positions on the north side of Bensley Point, unfurling the red flag. This is Yuri Armstrong. Have arrived at the reserve position on the north side of Blackstone Park and unfurled the blue flag. He's cool. I don't know why. I kind of like him. I hope I hope he doesn't die. <laughs> Roger that. Let me emphasize again that your combat effectiveness is very limited. Once you encounter a suspicious target, you should immediately spray chemical agents to hold the opponent. Do not fire the cannon without authorization, let alone use flame yet jets to avoid any unpredictable consequences. Understood. This is Rihanna Brigantia already arrived at the scheduled location on the west side of Libet Park. Roger that. Miss Rihanna, please be prepared for maneuvering at any time. Once we or Yuri find a suspicious target, they will notify you as soon as possible. Tesla is kind of good at this. She was so nervous, so I thought she would, would have no, no clue about like combat and stuff, but she is like... <laughs> With all the with all the fun they're having, I always forget that she is a genius. She is smart. <laughs> and she's so cool. I I think I like her more now. Even more. I already like her. Roger that. My maneuvering time is estimated to take approximately two minutes at worst. My kill radius can be controlled within ten meters in the worst case. Please keep those t Please keep these two figures in mind and don't cause unnecessary casualties due to misjudgment. Oh, I like them. I like them working together. That's it. Hold for two minutes and keep ten meters away. Let's go. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's fucking go. The late autumn morning light through a network of veins that crisscrossed the branches fell wet on the tracks. Yuri Armstrong drove his armored combat vehicle slowly north from Blackstone Park. Visiting the battlefield for the first time, he saw his father's figure in his mind. It was a summer, ten years ago. He dragged his father who, father, who had just returned from the army, to hear his own stories about Normandy. However, his father just coldly said in reply, It was so dark, the only thing we could see was the light coming from the enemy's barrels. What do you think we told ourselves to get the courage to jump in under those conditions? Oh... Nothing. It's because we've trained for that moment over a hundred times during the past two years that we were able to do it. I've stopped at asking myself, why? This is our reality. There are no superheroes in our world. The first time I dropped from a parachute, I was so terrified my legs wouldn't stop shaking. I was back to being a pipsqueak. A prof professional soldier with enough training will leave all unnecessary emotions behind. That's all. Leave all unnecessary emotions behind. That's all. Oh, I'm scared for him because we get a little bit of backstory. The flags. The flags are rising. <laughs> oh god. You, you, you will be fine. Yuri. Pathetic, isn't it? I bet my face is all pale right now. No. I'm feeling worse than you. 
That smell will reach us soon. I'm sorry. Huh? Yeah. A very strong smell similar to ammonia began to make its way into the vehicle. Perhaps it's the smell emitted by animals when they feel extreme fear. I found it. No, I should say it found us. Oh my god. Ah, oh, please be alright. With its rugby and ball like eyes, the monster stared puzzled at the moving iron block they were riding on. <laughs> it's like, what is that? Can I destroy it? <laughs> its structure is difficult to explain, or perhaps it's impossible to understand. So that's why we get the picture. That's really nice. There are a lot of eyes. Its tentacle-like arms had something in them. Some had an eye, a blade, and even a mouth. Oh. The tentacles, like barnacles, were attached to a rectangular piece of granite. Perhaps a tombstone? They moved like a worm, silently and aimlessly. The one thing that was clear is that this creature was the apex predator of this area. Uh, wh what do we do? The flamethrower? Do we try burning it to death? Negative. Don't you dare. You need to calm down. Do not touch the red panel. Move your hand to the blue panel. That's right. Use the blue panel. <sighs> the young man took a deep breath. The smell of ammonia was on the verge of making him tear up. This is blue team. Enemy spotted. Proceeding to inject the chemical. I repeat. Blue team has spotted the enemy. Injecting chemicals now. Rihanna. Rihanna? 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 Take your position. Take evasive maneuvers immediately. I will eliminate the enemy. Oh, okay, she was already on the way, huh? Roger. God, I was scared for a second. The strongest Valkyrie. She can run over one kilometer in one minute using her legs alone. What the heck? Oh my god, this is so cool. She possesses potential that can't be matched by any weapon. Ich bin das Schwarz, auch das Weiß. Vor dem Beginn und zwar nach dem Ende. I'm the black abyss that devours everything. The white flower that nurtures all. I exist before creation. I exist after annihilation. Divine key, abyss flower, second level output. She is so cool. Oh my goodness. I'm again, I'm completely in love. She is amazing. She is really the strongest, huh? Oh wow, that's so cool. That's what... That, that, that's a short chapter. What? But that is so cool. Oh my god, I love that like other characters are highlighted as well. Like not just Einstein, Tesla and Welt. In fact, Welt and Einstein are not even... Are they even on the battlefield? They probably have a different mission, right? Oh no, I would totally see them for the new chapter. Just making us go with Welt and Einstein and search for Nancy and all of that. That's also interesting, but I want everyone to be safe on the other side. <laughs> okay, let's jump straight into it. Let's not wait any longer. Oh, that day, around 8 o'clock in the morning. Where are we? What is that? Well, there's no need to keep staring at the lookout mirror now, temporary chief. Already. Is it completely safe? This is not the epicenter of the disaster. There's no need to be worried for yourself. At the very least, even if there's going to be an attack, it's going to be Rihanna with a better view who's going to deal with it first, no? We were there to help her tear down the roof of the Rolls Royce and make it a convertible sports car after all. Oh. <laughs> well, that's also... So why don't you just get down from there quickly? This is a rare opportunity, so let's hurry up and seize the chance to learn more. Learn more? Mm hmm Learn how to use the divine key. <gasps> what? No. What? What? <laughs> okay. Creepy. The Star of Eden. Oh, right! I thought for a second they were talking about Rihanna's divine key. Like, learn from her. But Belle is supposed to learn to work with the Star of Eden? And hey, I was right, it was something with Eden. With Eden. A powerful weapon created by using the Hersha core of the previous era's Hersha of Earth. Wow. 
we should all know what it is capable of and how to use it. Ada has finished parsing the instruction for us. Let's get started while we have this layer of barrier between us and the Valkyries at the headquarters. Huh? Ha? Huh? What's too ha huh here? Are you a bonehead? No matter how good Rihanna is, she works for Otto, the overseer of Schicksal, who you directly confronted. We have done so many things that you would absolutely hate, so it's logical that we should be careful and prepare some means for any future eventualities, no? True, actually. That is it's a good point. We need, we need some security. And besides, if Edison were to suffer some kind of disaster, either natural or man-made, who else can we rely on in that case but ourselves? Do you really think they're just like you, a bunch of happy-go-lucky idiots? Uh, listen carefully. Any other moment, I'll put up with you being our lab's mascot. We can go traveling, lazy around at home, or you can bully me with Mophead. But not today. You, Mophead and me need to learn how to use the Eden Star. I love Tesla. She is taking control. Go, girl. <laughs> we have to experiment with it as much as we can. This is a matter of life and death. And well, this was like, I get it, okay. <laughs> um, do I have to learn that too? That divine something? No need. You just keep driving. <laughs> That's all I know. My advice? Don't rush to send in troops with no combat experiment experience like you did three years ago. Huh? Wait, 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 what? Huh? Local organizations in North America seem capable of doing a good job of reconnaissance. Moreover, they are well aware that their weakness regarding combat effectiveness, so they will not make unnecessary sacrifices because of rash advance. No, how can that be? But if that child Edison really was behind this, I'll take her head off. Oh god, she, she's scary. Who are you talking to? You're probably talking to Shiksal. Literally. Don't do that. No. no. Rihanna. Yes, I'll keep in touch. Grand Overseer. I mean, we knew that she's working for Shiksal and is under Otto. Ah. But I want her on our side. I want her to, like, fight with us. Ah. Oh god. Brianna has felt the cold of death from many men older than her. Perhaps for the strong, the loss of human life is just a number. In fact, to become a successful general, one must see human life and death as numbers. Living together with your comrades and not see them as a single individual, but as a group, is a ruthless path. Someone may call it an art, but it has never been called salvation. War is war. War only brings ruin. That is something that will never change. Even if it is for a good reason, one must endure sacrifices. And more often than not, those sacrifices cannot be controlled. He who uses force unsparingly, without reference to the bloodshed involved, must obtain a super superiority if this adversary uses less vigor in its application. The Honkai is right here. The Honkai cannot be reasoned with. The Honkai does not follow our logic. The Honkai is not afraid of our sacrifices and will not feel bad for us. It does not care to what happens to this world. It will not stop its hostilities. Until we disappear from this planet completely and thoroughly. From the beginning, we were all thrown into this last stand. But even so, we strive for luxury. Amid this eternal war, we wanted to see the beauty, rebirth and salvation of humanity. Because they are not attributes inherently related to war, and because this war refuses to end. We keep wishing for more. Also, I think it's a good thing to wish for more. It's a reasonable envy, and what makes a person human. Luxury by itself is not a bad thing either. As long as we admit it's not a basic need that must always exist. As long as we understand the things it can bring us. Testa. Einstein. Welt. It's been many years since I've seen warm people like them in Schicksal. 
Perhaps the last one was that person who liked to be addressed as H.A. I wasn't a fan of her skeptical tone, but her presence brought joy to everyone. Wait, she really knew her? Like, I, I actually kind of wanted to leave this all uncommented first, because it's just so interesting seeing her perspective, like, Rianne's, Rianne's perspective. It's really, really cool to see how she thinks about all of this. But she knew H.A. Huh? Am I mixing some times up again, or was she alive, like, not long ago? No, it has to be. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but her presence brought joy to everyone. The last time I saw her was a hundred years ago. Wait, is that Rihanna's thinking? I was I was under the impression that it was Rihanna thinking. But is Rihanna... Wait, she has a divine... Everyone who has a divine key, can they live longer? Is that the case? So everyone... I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Back then, the railroad barely reached Chicago. And now it's a city housing over a million people. In fact, it's not just America, the one who has changed over the last hundred years. Germany is no longer an ethnic name. Both empires they attempted to create, it, they attempted to create were failures. The leader of France changed from president to emperor, then went back to president. Habsburg stepped down from history and the monarchy was demolished. The vacuum of power left by the fall of the Ottoman Empire let the Jews dream of reviving their homeland come true. Italy and Greece were no longer just geographical concepts. Turkey was freed from those incomp incomprehensive signs that for centuries have held our minds in an iron cage. And recently, two major wars took place in our ordinary world. Amid all these changes, the organization known as Schicksal remains stagnant and shows no sign of wanting to change. That's actually scary. Like, mm, it's scary that in her lifespan, so many things happened and changed. That is kind of scary. And amidst all that, Schicksal is unchanging. That can be kind of a relief, I think, for someone who is who has witnessed all of that. Because it's like the one thing that never changes, the one thing that basically I can always come back to and is the same. But it can but it is also very, very scary in the terms of it is not like mm, flexible is not quite the right word, but it is not moving with the time. Because they don't want to change. Which that that I think is really scary. <clears throat> as a Valkyrie, or perhaps as a war machine, this dissatisfaction could be somewhat unusual. Or perhaps that meddlesome overseer took the cells that control imagination from everyone and turned everyone into a copy of the Sage of China who can't make a joke or have fun. Fuva. That's definitely Fuva, right? Wait, so. So. People really high up know that Fuva is actually like, like, old, <laughs> or or is it just? Mm, they are all the same, uninteresting, suffocating, cold-hearted adults. Yet we boast of being cold-hearted adults as a sign of our old age. In this very moment, those boys in the tank's cockpit may be going against the overseer's wishes. But what's wrong with that? Maybe acting like that is their own style. And this machine that I am today wants to protect them. Aww. Because a machine has emotions too. Even a machine wants a taste of the feeling called envy. Anyway, I keep picturing all these little kids playing some game in this big field of Ryandall. Thousands of little kids and nobody's around. Nobody big, I mean except me and i'm standing on the edge of some crazy cliff what i have to do i have to catch everybody if they start to go over the cliff i mean if they're running and they don't look where they're going i have to come out from somewhere and catch them that's all i do all day i just be the catcher in the rye and all i know it's crazy but that's the only thing i'd really like to be oh 
confusion arose after a large number of people woke up from sleep and noticed the electronic anomaly caused by the energy pulse. However, unlike in panic scenes often seen in movies, order was maintained during this chaos. Gosh, this is all so interesting. I love Rihanna. She is so cool and amazing, honestly. And her thoughts are not like... <laughs> she's not like, I'm a machine, I'm going to do whatever Otto says, but she is thinking about it and she knows what she is, but she knows what she wants to do. And she's still helping. I like that. Oh my god, I... Mm, I'm scared because we get so much more info on her thoughts. I am scared about that. Leaving Providence through Route 6, we didn't get caught in any massive traffic jam, nor encountered burglars trying to take advantage of the chaos. On the contrary, we didn't even encounter people trying to fight off Honkai beasts with normal weapons. Needless to say, this temporary peace was due to the lack of communication. I can't help but praise the autonomy of the people of this country. Of our three helpers from the Bureau, one piloted the tank along with the members of Laboratory 42, and the other two returned to their official job. Even in situations where technolo technological communication isn't possible, information can still be transmitted manually. From one person to ten people. From ten to one hundred. From one hundred to thousand. The equipment Edison gave them wasn't very sophisticated, but if they are able to reach more than ten thousand people, even if New York becomes a Berlin-class incident, the people will be able to make a stand and stop the danger from spreading. Even if we can only contact a 10% of them. As for the epicenter, they can leave that to me. Three years ago, they called me their last triumph card and refused to let me leave the headquarters. I couldn't do anything. I was forced to see Martha and those poor inexperienced children die. They hold her back because she's the last triumph card. That shocks me right now more than anything else. Oh my god. That wasn't a combat test at all. It was like I was watching them fall off from a cliff alive. Oof. I won't let that happen again. This time, I will fully become a war machine and exterminate whatever that stands in my way. This time, this machine will become the catch and the rye. I love Rihanna so much. Wow. I... <laughs> I think I, 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 need, I need to sip some tea because I'm not, I'm not okay right now. Because honestly, like, the, the one thing that really shook me right now was that I held her back knowing that she is the strongest. Knowing that she could help. Because she is the last triumph card. They knowingly did that. And I think that is really, that's saying a lot. And, oh my god. I mean... No, I don't even know what I mean. Let's, let's move on. <laughs> what? Why did you break suddenly? What happened? Oh, what is that? Glove? Wait. That is not like the key, right? The divine key, because... Wait, no, no. That, that was a ball. On the side of the rope... Road. <laughs> a limping person came out. Oh. <gasps> you are cute. Oh my god. She is... Such beautiful eyes. Oh my god. I don't know who you are. But you are cute. Welcome to Hartford, Connecticut. Oh. <laughs> you. Are you okay? No. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh god. The unnamed woman fell to the ground. Hey, hold on. Hail. Hypothermia. Her blood pressure is very unstable. She has to be taken to a hospital as soon as possible. That'll not be necessary. Oh, she can fix her, right? Leave it to me. Miss Rihanna? What? Have you forgotten? Black abyss white flower. But the divine key of decomposition and creation. Oh, this is so cool. Those pictures. Oh my god. And the music's so epic. 
I am the black rising from the abyss. I am the white descending from the heavens. I exist before creation. I exist after annihilation. To the thirsty I will freely give. From the fountain of the water of life. Divine key, abyss flower, zero level output. Heilige Lanza, die Welt wird sie. Hey, are you guys a medic team from somewhere else? Dr. Morgan can't do anything like that. No, we just happen to have a, let's say, military medical kit. That's awesome, I gotta show it to me, Dr. Morgan. Ah, forgot to introduce myself. I'm Elaine Glaston, former ranger. Rangers, lead the way. <laughs> yeah, that ranger. Elaine, Elaine's cute. And I'm glad she's fine already. <laughs> The person I was talking about, Dr. Morgan, is called Mikhail Morgan, an acquaintance, acquaintance of mine and a pretty good doctor. We're also studying this calamity you guys call Honkai, too. All by yourselves? That's impressive. Wait a second. Elaine? Morgan? Don't tell me there's also a Vivian or Nimue, too. Eh, what's that? Um, King Arthur? King Arthur? Oh, I remember the teacher reading us that in, in elementary school. Wait, I'm being serious here. So were you guys sent by the Disaster Management Bureau? Ah, uh, yeah, something like that. Perfect, you're exactly what our team needed. As you can see, fighting those monsters with these browning is kind of hard. It was too fast. Shall we do another one? It's pretty early. Shall we do another one? Ah, all right. <laughs> Today, three chapters. It is okay. Let's let's go. Oh my god! <gasps> I didn't know we would get. Oh my god! Okay, this is cool. This is very cool. Let's talk about the past. There was a certain Greek hero. Well, it doesn't really matter where he came from. Anyway, he was a great man, and his ship was turned into a monument of sorts, and was worshipped by people. But time is cruel and the ship's wood slowly decayed. The locals came up with a plan to preserve their precious ship. Every year, each part of the ship would be inspected and if any part was rotten, it would be rebuilt. A few hundred years later, a philosopher came to see the ship and by then, each part had been replaced at least once. The philosopher was very sad to hear that and asked the locals, is this still the original ship? And the locals told him in a thoughtless manner, Philosopher, if you believe the ship is different, then what did it stop being the original? Then when did it stop being the original? As you must know, even during the great hero's voyage, the ship had its parts replaced. Huh, is that just something for us to think about? I think they literally are just giving us food for thought, right? <laughs> this is so cool and so interesting. I'm glad we're doing another one. <laughs> okay. I woke up from a dream. Who are we right now? For some reason, I'm sitting on a bench. Ah. I remember now. That red-haired cowgirl brought me here. Because I saved her life. Oh, is, is it Brianna? I fell asleep shortly after arriving here. How embarrassing. Even though the energy consumption from zero level should be insignificant. I guess... I am lowering my guard around these people. Thankfully, it hasn't been that long since I passed out. After taking a short breath, I noticed the smell of carbolic acid in the air. The bright light from the morning sun entered diagonally from a small window at the end of the hallway. The strong contrast of light and darkness gave this questionable clinic a strange atmosphere. Hi. Hello. Holding out a hand to the side expressionlessly, seems like she meant to shake hands. Mikael Morgan, the person in charge of this clinic, Rihanna Brigantia, Valkyrie of Schicksal. Your companion is replenishing their energy next door. Do you need some? High calorie foods. Oh, no need. I... I had a full breakfast. <laughs> I see. Then I'll enjoy it myself, I guess. With that, she peeled a piece of chocolate and threw it in her mouth. Right. Thank you for helping Elaine in time. That idiot. If we hadn't been here before, would have been stabbed several times. Oh my god. <laughs> However, what I'm curious about is, what exactly is your field medical equipment? <laughs> um, that... It's 
actually kind of secret, I guess? <laughs> well, this caviar tastes really good. The texture of the bread is just right. Right? They always have a way to get some really good stuff. Like this Caspian Urga caviar, the Australia truffle, the Iberian Oakham. Huh? Is Dr. Morgan that bitch? Hmm. Should I say that I have money or that I know more people? Oh my... <laughs> Wait. Is that you, Battle Bunny Ribbon? <laughs> uh-huh. No matter how good the delicacies of the mountains and the sea are, it can't fill your stomach, right? Come on, wait a minute. Banana chocolate cake. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Mmm, it's even better than the ones my mom used to bake. Of course, you treat me as a bunny girl for nothing. You're welcome. What? <laughs> Eat slowly so you don't choke. Do you need me to pat away your hiccups? Oh, adorable. You are one to talk, my pet. Uh -huh, she's right though. Even if you are in a hurry, you should eat slowly. Speaking of which, Miss Hallowus, what exactly are you doing for Dr. Morgan? Right now? Part-time nurse, of course. <laughs> of course, sorry, how could I? <laughs> how could I have not seen this? Don't look at me like that, I'm actually licensed, alright? Usually there's no need for so many people in a clinic. How about the however, there's always some room for exceptions, no? Since the sudden power failure in the middle of last night, Dr. Morgan has called all of us here. As you can see, the girl next to me hasn't even changed her clothes for the night shift. Wait, so you were always an established organization? Oh well, it's a bit too much of an exaggeration to just say organization. But yes, it's true we are a business team of sorts. Possible and I are in charge of inquiring about the news. Elaine is in charge of running business and money debt collection. As for Dr. Morgan, of course, she is the brains of the whole thing. Ah, could it be that... Huh? We didn't do anything illegal, did we? <laughs> You're thinking too much again, aren't you? There are a few who have courage to do business using their heads, you know. Anyway, the cake is finished. Let's break open the wine bottle. That one. Don't drink anything. Come and help. Oh, hello. Oh. The back door of the clinic was suddenly flung open by a burly young man in an ill-fitting white coat. Percival, you... Oh my god, someone's hurt? What are you still waiting for? Take him to the doctor quickly. This person needs immediate help. The burly young man took off his shoulders as a man in suit, covered in blood and dying. Oh. There were strips of wounds on the man's back, deep and shallow, judging by the extent of the tear. These are scratches by a beast? I don't know. I'll leave this man to you. There's another one lying in the doorway. Oh. Um, what is the situation? They're just flesh wounds. It's no big deal. Oh? There's no damage to the aorta or the main nerve. Just a normal muscle tear. It should be fine after one or two months of resting. Only... Only what? Forget it. I'll let Miss Brigantia, who's good at explaining things, explain it to you. I still have to stitch them up. Is it the Honkai, like, level? Like, the, the, the resistance is not high? Uh-huh. That. I really need to keep this one a secret. I'm sorry. Wait, what? Don't apologize for looking after him. Rihanna, what the hell is going on? The wounds show signs of Honkai corruption. They doesn't look too serious, but there's no doubt about it. This is the work of a Honkai beast. In addition, the manner of the laceration is early smooth, which shows that the enemy had an exceptionally fast method of attack, which would be difficult for ordinary people to prevent. So, you stay here and help the doctor. I'll take it out, no problem. No problem? Can't this be a trap? Doctor, I've killed many Honkai beasts, but none of them can compare with the intelligence of men, nay, even mammals. The clinic had not been directly attacked. The way the situation is unfolding, it should be safe here for quite a while. Besides, if my guess is correct, you also have an ace in your hand, right? We do, actually. <laughs> She's so smart. Oh my god, this epic music. Oh my god, this is so cool. Okay, but please be safe, Rihanna, okay? After a mysterious wink, Rihanna picked up the abyss flower and left the clinic. Ace, what did you mean by that? Um, that's... Here, we're we just going to show it? 
Oh. Wait. Out of nowhere, the girl pulled out a handful of silver grey bullets and handed them to the redhead. This is... Silver bullets. Huh? I'm kidding. There's no such thing. She's cute, goddammit, but she should not kid around in this situation. This Astra ammunition is an ammunition made of the alloy invented by this Dr. Tesla. Its armor sunder effect on Honkai beasts is quite good. Ah, boy. <laughs> Let's just say it worked, right? Anyway, even though it's an armor breaker, it's a... It's A45. Do you have anything fit to load? Hey, come on, a typewriter for everyone. Uh-oh, Thompson. With this guy in hand, you don't need to be afraid of anything. That's a submachine gun, right? Do we have that many bullets? Damn, right we do. There's an entire case in that sports car we've been riding on. An entire case? What? Isn't this very much like her? Mass produce something and keep it stashed in many different places. She? Na wait, Nancy or, or, or Schrödinger? Or Plank? Edison! Yeah, okay. Why is she pouting? <laughs> ah, you meant Nancy. Why Why are you angry? You can't say her name anymore today. Got it? Just hearing it pisses me off. It's more annoying than 100,000 mosquitoes, fleas and flies. S sorry. <laughs> oh god. Are you stupid? Uh, you're apologizing, won't do anything. But, but what do you want? <laughs> If something were to happen to us, would you apologizing make everything okay again? Will it? Well? Huh? Knock. Who? Who's there? Is it Rihanna? Please let it be Rihanna. Yeah, we see that... Isn't someone knocking? I'll go check it out. Oh, no. Don't go check it out. Oh god, I'm scared. <laughs> that slap sound. I'm not quite sure if that is what really happened. Oh! <gasps> What? 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 What the fuck? What happened? I mean, that is not zombification, is it? That's something else. That's something different. What did they do? What? What is she now? Is she still? Is she still human? What? What are you doing? Out of my way, weaklings. Did she become a hair? No, 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 not a hair show, right? I have a business with, business with that harem lead over there. <laughs> that is very self-aware. <laughs> yes, you. Come out, Feld. I'm not speaking her like usual because that is not who she, how she sounds like right now, I think. And die. What? Okay, I'm sorry. This is going to be a double double episode. I'm going to do another one. I'm I I no. Mm -mm, I'm not going to no. I'm sorry. This is going to be a long episode. You got to deal with that. I mean, I, I don't think many of you mind actually. <laughs> but I can't just stop here. We have to I 7 hours ago. Oh my god. Oh, they really hate us. Okay. And I was about to say I can't leave us hanging like this. Because I myself can't deal with this cliffhanger. <laughs> and then the game continues to cliffhanger us. Oh my god. Seven hours ago, Edison, New Jersey. Schrodinger is talking to someone on the phone. Correct. That's why we came to New Jersey. We're in a laboratory near Raritan River. You should know about it. Yes, the famous Edison, Edison Laboratory in Edison Street. Anyway, we're 50 kilometers away from Manhattan. It will have no impact on the citizens. Ah, uh, mm, mm hmm. Oh god. I can't stop her. You know how she is. Once an idea pops up in her head, she'll do whatever she can to verify it. If the blueprints do exist, then due to unknown circumstances, she hasn't been able to go through with it. Yes, it'll be quite difficult. That is always the hardest part. She has always been a walking haphazard. Who can say she won't invent some kind of device that will nullify all Honkai energy-based weapons next? 
Yes, I'm being sarcastic. There is no other workaholic who can work 365 straight like her. But who could possibly stop our dear selfish princess? Also, Finn is right there too. Ah, uh, don't talk about him like that. He is a very smart person too, just only about his area of expertise. No problem, let's create a surprise for them. You planned to come in person from the start, correct? Who are you talking to? You planned to come in person from the start? Huh? Huh? Evan? Margaret? Benedict? Who are they? Wait a moment, doesn't that mean total mobilization? I understand, that is also important. To cut the Gordian knot, there is no need to prolong it any longer. Huh? But of course, there is no need to ask. A certain someone has finally left its home. They might come to help at any moment. What is going- Present! We got the present! Doctor, aren't we going to help? Hella, hemostatic forceps. Here. Hey, you two, there's a fight outside. Yeah, leave the fight to the others. Are we fighting her? So what? Huh? First of all, what is the first clause of the doctor's oath? You memorized that last year when you took a license test, right? Um, I will devote everything to the service of mankind. What about the fourth? The health of my patients should be my primary concern. What about number nine? I'm going to do everything I can to preserve human life. What, so you think will happen to the patient if we do not go to deprimant and institutional? <laughs> oh god, this doctor is cool. Death to, to Honkai corruption cannot be ruled out. So what else is there to say? Work hard. Have trust in your friends next door. That is true. This scared me for a second. What is going on? <gasps> oh my fucking god. This is so cool. <gasps> and it's shooting a question mark because it's actually... This has to be a new Hersha of some sort. Maybe it's maybe it's just a pseudo Hersha. I don't know. But why is she here? Hmm. So this is the power of the ninth the Hersha of Earth that lived fifty thousand years ago. Oh, so it's is it a shield? Is she so this glove is the one that is the core, like the, the weapon, like the divine key, the the dot 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 of Eden. The relic that transcends time, commonly referred to as Divine Key, is quite impressive. It's surprising even a weak person like you was able to fend off my attack. Schrödinger-san? No. You. How do you know so much about the Star of Eden? Hmm. Is that the question, Professor Einstein? The person who has been studying by my side for seven years wants to ask the mess- the- the answer? Well, it's fine. That Valkyrie is distracted by my quantum doubles, so I have plenty of time. Quantum doubles? Is she also a double? Oh, I'm so... What the... What is even going on? Oh my... She looks amazing, but so scary. Like, what the fuck? In short, you taught me about that divine key yourself. To be precise, the knowledge came from the trapped core inside of it. Huh? If you... <laughs> It smell. Anyone can learn it. Got it? Wait, if you... It's anyone can learn... What? What? Wait, if if you sniff it smell, can, anyone can learn it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. I, is that kind of thing possible? It surprised me as well. You could say I have one more sensory organ than you all. It lets me sniff the information the Hokai has written. Thus... Knowing about the defensive power of the ninth Tasha also wouldn't be strange, right? Hey, what else do you know? Oh my, our hero finally dared to ask a question. Let's see, I know a lot of things. I know about New York, I know about the princess, I have you almost figured out. Ah, I just learned about what's going on with that Valkyrie from earlier. So what do you want to know, Hersha of our era? I knew it! Like, it was obvious, but I mean, I should have probably already known it, but oh my god, it, that, that's the confirmation. That is the confirmation. 
Oh, he will not be alright. I think he will be shocked. Wait, he's not? Wait, does he know? <laughs> oh my god, that, that look. Hey. What's wrong? Wasn't it obvious to anyone that he is a Hersha? <laughs> is she like the audience? <laughs> ah, I see. You all can't sense it. Every single one of his cells are screaming in hunger. I want to swallow everything. I want to absorb everything. I want to remake everything. You're wrong. Stop talking nonsense. <laughs> nonsense? Your head may not be able to understand it, but your body knows well it can no longer endure its hunger. I am so freaking scared. Stop it. Before you do something, you won't be able to take back. Not being able to take it back. <laughs> Wouldn't that actually be a good thing? If you want him to return to the right path you designed for him, let Veld stand up for himself. Not a chance. I won't let you hurt him. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I am like literally... Oh my god, I'm so scared. Hmm. Then I'll start by breaking your shield. No. Please be alright. <gasps> <laughs> Listen carefully, Gigolo, hiding behind a woman. For reasons unknown to you, this woman is honestly trying hard to save your life. But it seems she has reached her limit. She won't be able to take another blow from my hand. Do you understand what I'm saying? What's the point of Excalibur if it isn't in King Arthur's hands? Well, are you frustrated? If you want to prove you are different from past Hersha, if you want to prove you will not succumb to your instincts. No, if you want to prove you are a real man. Grab your weapon and fight me head on, fair and square. Oh my god, I am shaking. Come on, get, come on, Vage. You can, you can maybe not really do it, but you have to stand up for yourself. <laughs> Don't get hit by her. You are... Me? Who I am doesn't matter. How is... That is like the divine key from Otto, right? Like the... 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 Uh, void archives. Right? Me? Who I am doesn't matter. What matters is Schrödinger. You can't do anything about her. If you buy enough time, Rihanna will come back and save you, right? Are you saying... Don't. You must face her head on Welt. Psychologist? You are not an ordinary person. Believe in your own power. That is the utmost respect you can show Professor Schrödinger. Uh, who the hell are you? <gasps> what? If you are trying to let him astray, we won't stay silent. Who are you? Don't be afraid. We're not your enemy. As long as you don't listen to that blonde devil, you won't go down a dark path. Is that his family? Like his real human family? No, probably not, right? Soldier? Your opponent is Professor Schrödinger. She is ready to fight you until the end. Are those people from the ancient civilization, maybe? No. Mm. Can you tell why? Oh my god, what is happening? This is so epic. Oh my god. Everyone is calling me. What? Eins, would you lend me the Star of Eden? Oh my god. But... Have you forgotten? There is no limit to the dimension of space. What? What? Don't worry. Certainly, my body is longing to be exposed to this torrent of energy. But thanks to death, I can feel everyone's power within me. Everyone's power? Yes, everyone. It's not only Carl. There are many others, children and adults we've never met. You are. Don't worry. I am... I am myself. Always been and always will be. So, will you help me, Eins? Professor Einstein? So these are probably the people that all died in the Berlin outbreak. Oh, of course you will. Ah, 
I guess every man has this kind of moment in, the, in their life. <laughs> what? Forget it. It was a little compliment. This world is always exceeding my expectations. I entrust you with its fate. Oh my god. Meanwhile, don't meanwhile me. Ah! Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? A dozen Hokai beasts suddenly disappeared as if they were phantoms. I realized I was tricked. Okay, we are at Rihanna's again. The one thing I was fearing became reality. From the pl place I left, that is Dr. Morgan's clinic, a Hokai vortex, which seemed to have been contained by a mysterious power, erupted as if it were a volcano. It's exactly as that professor described. I rely relied too much on my past experiences. It's impossible for me to perform an indiscriminate attack from this distance due to possible collateral damage. Luckily, it seems they still haven't used their triumph card given the Hokai energy shockwaves. But that doesn't mean I have a single moment to spare. Oh god. Th this is... There was a large hole in the outer wall of the clinic. Einstein was resting alongside an unconscious Tesla in a, pi in a pile of hay. The rest of the clinic staff was near them, looking in awe at the distance. The gaze was focused on the two dangerous energies clas clashing with each other. Oh my god. <gasps> what is it, Welt? Don't tell me you've used all your powers already. Stop this, Professor Schrödinger. All human lives will be lost. Human lives? Stop joking already. Where is that human life you speak of? How contradictory. You knew this was going to be a battle to the death the moment you took my challenge. <laughs> what is it? Cat got your tongue? If you don't want me to soak my hands in blood, awaken that power of yours. Oh my god. <laughs> this looks so awesome. I haven't stopped shaking, by the way. <laughs> no. Just because I me just because I can doesn't mean I want that. But I also don't want to do something I'll regret. He is so amazing. But the voices inside of me tell me. You are not my enemy. <laughs> Stop joking. I'm seriously trying to kill you all. I don't doubt it. You are seriously trying to kill me. It's true it would be better for everyone if you were to kill me. Oh he <gasps> But even so. I can tell you're not my enemy. You're just my opponent in this battle. <laughs> what are you trying to say? What are you trying to do? To be honest, I don't get it myself. Right now, there are countless voices whispering within my body. Some voices wish for the destruction of everything, but the majority are encouraging me to bring happiness to this world. Oh my god. The one thing I'm certain is, if I'm killed by you, then they will. The last piece of them left in this world will disappear. So, if you honestly want a duel to the death, I can't let myself be killed without putting up a fight. Oh, it's so epic. I still have to make reality the beautiful wishes of those countless voices. Huh. <laughs> you don't have to say anything else. Come. Let's see how long can a hair shall last. Oh my god. Professor Schrödinger. I accept your determination. This was so fucking epic. Oh my god. Oh my literal god. What? <laughs> I, I can't even analyze anything right now because I'm just so shocked about how epic that was. That was so amazing. So, Ditveld knew deep within him that he is a Hersha. That there is a Hersha within him. But he can control it. Isn't that like a major, major thing? That is so interesting. And what happened with Schrödinger, like the experiment or whatever they did, they, that did turn her into this, right? What about the other ones who were there? Are they alright? Are they alive? And what exactly is Schrödinger right now? Like she, she can, I, I mean, I guess it's because of the experiment that she can sniff out, like she said, many, many things and 
that's why she knew that he's a Herrscher, but what is she trying to do? Like, she wants to kill him. So she should still be Schrödinger, right? Because humans want to kill Herrscher. Humans want to kill Honkai. Or is this pseudo Herrscher, maybe Schrödinger? I, I, I really don't know, honestly. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. And that is so cool. This was a really, really long episode now because I did four chapters. <laughs> and I, I really did not plan to do that. I could not stop myself earlier. That was just not, not possible. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's still kind of a cliffhanger. But I can... I don't know why, but I can live with that a little bit better than, than in, in the earlier chapters. <laughs> I'm sorry if it's terrible for you guys. <laughs> but... With this said, I hope you guys had just as much fun and excitement as I did. And if you did, and if you are still watching, <laughs> don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It would really make my day. And I'm really excited to get to the next chapter with you guys next time. See you then!